One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to his videos. Why on earth would he go and do that? You might think you need to be some big fancy YouTuber to do it. Very fancy. You don't. I do it all the time, and I'm just a little feller on YouTube. You're nobody. And I haven't gone to jail. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. Thank you, Trevor. Here's how to add movie clips to your videos and tweak them like Magnates Media using CapCut. Once you've downloaded your movie clip, you're going to want to put them in a folder where you can find them. Get ready. You're going to want to take a screenshot of this in three, two. I organize my folders and files like this for each project so I can always find what I'm looking for. Never, ever, ever leave anything you use in your videos like video, graphics, and music and sound effects on your desktop or look like this when you want it to look like this. Once you have your movie clips in the correct folder, you just add them to your timeline like you would add any other video clip. Magnates Media and I use our movie clips a little bit differently. He has a documentary style, so he has voiceover and he has movie clips that complement what he's saying. Where I use movie clips usually just to kind of banter back and forth to add a little bit of humor to my videos. You're not funny. So let's do a combo of Magnates Media and Trevor. We'll recreate the open of this video that's got that back and forth thing that I do with movie clips in my videos, and then we'll add some filters and effects to the videos like Magnates Media does in his videos. But first I want to give you some tips on how to use movie clips in your videos so they actually land and feel like they belong there. The key to making movie clips work is to not leave them to chance. You need to plan them in advance. What I do is I write out my script and then I think, huh, wouldn't it be great if some famous actor said this right after that line that I just gave? And then I search using the methods I show in that linked video and I see if somebody actually said that or something similar that would work. And then I'll kind of tweak my script a little bit so that it fits a little better with whatever I found. And this is all before I hit record. Another thing you're really going to want to do to make movie clips land is only use clips where the guy speaking is the guy on camera. You can see him. You don't get the back of his head while he's talking. You want to see his mouth moving. And usually because the clips I use are so short, I want them to be well lit so they're easy to read within just a couple seconds. They don't have time to process a big long scene and clips changing. It's just going to be usually one take, one shot of one guy staring at the camera that's well lit. And then it's really easy to read when you pop in some random guy in the middle of you talking. It's just some random guy. I also try to find clips with clear audio, not a lot of background noise or music so that they are easier to process when some random face pops on the screen when you've been talking. But if you do find something that has music in the background and you really want to use the clip and it's too hard to understand with the music, CapCut has a way to get rid of the music and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute too. Let's jump into CapCut. You can see here that I've already roughed out the open with the part with me speaking. We just need to add the movie clips. So first we're going to import the movie clips. I'm going to jump up here and click import. And because my project is organized, I know exactly where they all are. If I click here, I see that I'm in my movies folder under my Trevor Jones creator folder. Inside the Magnate Media folder I created on this date and in the footage folder and inside the footage folder I've got movies. So I just click on that guy and select import and now all my movie clips are in here. The other thing you'll notice when I double click this we can see inside I have named all of them so I can find them easily when I want to insert them and I have my script written out so that I know what goes where. This first few seconds looks like this. One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to his videos. And then I just look at my script and see, oh, the line that goes there is why on earth would he do that? So I just scroll down and I find that clip. Why on earth would he go and do that? <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and click this plus sign so it adds it to the track. And it's just like editing anything else. All my stuff is edited. We're setting movie clips over it. Clips to his videos. Why on earth would he go and do that? <laughs> you might. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. He has a little haha at the end, so I'm going to get rid of that. Because this is in my magnetic timeline still, if I type the letter W, it will delete this and pull everything else over. So I'm just going to type W. I'm not going to be using the magnetic timeline anymore because I want these clips above so I can stagger them a little bit and have one clip overlap the other more easily. And if I just pull this up, look what it does. It just sucked all the other clips over. I'm going to undo that. Now I'm going to turn off the magnetic timeline right here. So now when I lift this up, it doesn't suck everything over and I have a little more control. I'm also going to zoom in here by holding down the command key on my Mac or the control key on the PC and hitting my scroll wheel. Now I can see what's going on here and look at the waveforms and have things line up. Now, one issue I see when people try to use movie clips, they don't have them tight enough. They have to be tight and not separated. So I'm going to bring this over to here and let's see how it works. His videos. Why on earth would he go? So maybe even a little tight. I'm just going to drag it over a tiny bit more and Another issue we see is that we can see through 
this clip and see me because this is widescreen. Now I could remove me below and make it just leave the black bars here, but I want it to be a little more consistent so it's not so jarring. So I'm just gonna scale up this clip so it fills the frame completely. And since that main guy's talking, I'm gonna slide it over this way a little bit. And now we have the intro. Let's do his videos. Why on earth would he go and do that? Let's go ahead and bring this next section over. You'll notice that I highlighted all these so I could bring them all over at once. There's actually a better way to do that. And that is by hitting the right bracket, which selects, watch this cursor, it selects the select right word. And if you forget the keystroke, the right bracket, you can also go over here and choose select right word. And that way I can select anything to the right of this arrow and drag it over like that. We'll hit undo. But I wanna be able to move all of this stuff precisely until it lines up exactly how I want it. And there might be a little bit of overlap. Let's go ahead and zoom in again. Remember command and control and use your scroll wheel to zoom in. So let's see how this lines up. Would he go and do that? You might think you need to be some, and maybe just a little bit more to the right there. Go and do that. You might think you need to be some big fancy YouTuber to do it. Now we're gonna add our next movie clip, which is very fancy. So I'm gonna scroll down here to very fancy and drop this guy in. I'm gonna position the playhead about where I want him to go. So I'm just gonna click on this little plus icon here and it's gonna add it to the timeline in the first available space above where the playhead is. And obviously it's going over me, I don't want that. So I still have this rightward tool selected. I'm gonna slide everything over here and make room for it. And let's see how it looks here. Fancy YouTuber to do it. Supposed to be very fancy. And I don't want all of that. I just want him to say very fancy. And I can see in the waveform where this is right here, very fancy. Very fancy. So I'm just gonna delete this part here. And I'm just gonna hit the Q. Now because the magnetic timeline is on, Q will only Make the cut and delete that, it won't slide it over. If I had the magnetic timeline on, it would slide all this bottom stuff over and mess everything up. So we're just going to hit Q. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna leave that mistake in so you can see what happens. Like, oh no, I hit the letter Q, it didn't go over. It's because this clip isn't highlighted. Let's go ahead and select the arrow key again by typing the letter A. See it turned into the A. If the right bracket turns it back into that right word tool. If I just hit A, I get that tool back. I'm gonna click on this. And now when I type letter Q, it adds a cut here and deletes that all at once. And then I hit the right bracket and slide everything over. Now more importantly than learning how to edit like Magnates Media is learning how to use this tool and how to apply the stuff that he does in your videos. And you need to get good at all of these keystrokes so you can be fast, otherwise you're just gonna be frustrated and never get where you wanna go. And by the way, I wanna help you get where you want to go with YouTube. So I created a course called Master CapCut. You can click on the link in the description below or go to mastercapcut.com where in just a few days I teach you everything you need to know so that this stuff becomes easy, second nature. So check that out if you want. Now let's go ahead and check it. YouTuber to do it. Very fancy. You don't. So now we're just going to get rid of this section here. We don't want it, so I'm gonna hit the letter W. That will add a cut here and delete this all at the same time. Instead of having to click here to add a cut, then highlight it and hit delete, we just type the letter W. So at the end of a clip, it removes it. Bam, that's gone. Now let's drag this stuff over. I still have these double arrows selected, which is the right word tool. Now notice that when I click on it, that guy unhighlights and these guys all highlight. It's gonna drag them over. And let's see if this works. Tuber to do it. Very fancy. You don't. I do it all the time. And maybe one frame over. I like things like really tight, like no pauses at all. Big fancy YouTuber to do it. Very fancy. You don't. I do it all the time. And I'm just a little feller on YouTube. And now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of this. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster here, but it's the same concept. You wanna make these things very tight unless there's a reason for a pause, like a comedic pause or something. So let's go ahead and Let's find the next clip. I'm gonna look on my script. It's only a matter of time, so we'll scroll up. It's alphabetical. I typed it so I can find things easily. And here you'll notice that I have two clips. I've got It's Only a Matter of Time with Gandalf and another one with this guy who I don't know. So let's see which one works better. And that's the thing. When you search for these movie clips, you'll sometimes find multiple options. You gotta find the one that works best. And in this case, let's have a look. It's only a matter of time. And this one is kind of loud. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And Gandalf is talking really quietly. So I think I'm going to use this guy, even though I don't recognize him. And even though the audio is kind of cruddy. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. I mean, Gandalf is cooler, more recognizable, and it's a brighter shot. I kind of like it better, but he's so low, and it won't fit with the energy we want going here. So I'm going to delete Gandalf. Now this audio. It's only a matter of time. Is a little bit noisy. I want it a little bit cleaner. And 
CapCut has a way for us to clean up that audio. So I'm going to click on audio and I'm going to scroll down to vocal isolation. It is a pro feature and this is, you know, if you do a lot of stuff like this, this is one pro feature that might be worth getting the pro version for. And I'm just going to click on vocal isolation. That clip is highlighted and let's see if it sounds any better. Here's before. It's only a matter of time. And here it is after. It's only a matter of time. That made it way better. Now it has other features that aren't pro that can help. So I'm going to turn off vocal isolation. It's only a matter of and try noise reduction. Let's see how that is. It's only a matter of time. It didn't do as much. I also have this other pro feature called enhance voice. Let's try both of those together. It's also a pro feature, but let's see how this is. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, I mean it's it's yeah. The vocal isolation works best. Now, it could survive without it. It's clean enough to work without any of those, but let's use vocal isolation. And I'm gonna drag it over here and see all this stuff sounds together. You're nobody. And I haven't gone to jail. It's only a matter of time. This is kind of an interesting thing that I'm just catching now. Sometimes when you download clips, they'll be out of sync. Notice how he starts speaking here. And there's no audio yet. So it's out of sync. So we got to fix it. How do we fix it? Here's another feature in CapCut. We can separate the audio from the video. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose extract audio. And now these guys, I can move out of sync with each other and I can synchronize them myself. And I can see that if I go frame by frame, he's already starting to speak there, but there's no audio there. So I'm going to drag this over and see if we can make this synchronize a little better. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, that's better, right? So we're just going to leave it like that and drag everything over a bit so they stay together. I've got them both highlighted and maybe just one little bit more this way and let's try it. I haven't gone to jail. It's only a matter of time. I think that works. Now let's bring over the next clip. This is edited pretty well right now. We could just be done, but we want to make it a little better. First, we're going to make the audio even. So I'm going to select all of these clips here that have audio. Now notice that this clip doesn't have any audio because it's separated. So the option to modify all the audio at once isn't there. So I'm going to hold down the command key on a Mac, the control key on a PC, and click on this guy and notice that audio appeared here, this option. If I click on this guy, even though that's audio, for some reason CapCut won't let me modify that one because it's different. It doesn't have any video attached. So I'm going to command click or control click on this guy and I'm going to click on audio. And all I'm going to do is hit loudness normalization. Now I've apparently used it for some of the clips because it has a minus sign there instead of a check mark. I want to normalize all of these. I'm just going to click on it and now these are all going to be normalized. So the levels are all about the same at the same kind of higher level normalized to the target loudness that is in settings. You don't really need to worry about that right now. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this clip separately. Click on it and hit loudness normalization. And now all the audio is going to be pretty consistent throughout. So it's about the same level of loudness. Next, we want to make this more fun like Magnates Media. What does he do? He uses movie clips in his videos and he often affects them, adds fun filters and effects. Now, I'm going to add a bunch of effects to these. It's going to be a little excessive and obnoxious, but I just want you to see some of the fun effects that you can use here in CapCut. So in the beginning here, We've got me and this next clip, and we could kind of make them, you know, they look completely separate. How, how could we join them together? Well, let's go ahead and click on effects, and I've saved some of the fun effects that I want to try. Um, what we could do if we wanted to modify all of these at once is find, you know, a subtle or maybe not so subtle effect that we apply to all of them. We could go up here and click on old TV and drag it down to the timeline, and if I drag it across all of these clips, it'll apply it to all of them. So all of them, you know, would look like this and have this effect and they'd feel, you know, a little more, you know, congruous. And that's something that I might do in real life if going with this black and white old school vibe was something I was going for. But I'm not doing that in this case. We're just going to modify a couple clips at a time so I can show you some of the cool stuff in here. Let's try this one called Film 2. It is a pro filter, but there's other ones that are similar. Here's a free one. Let's look at this free one first. Color film. One thing Magnates Media does, that's pretty cool, but it's kind of holding still there and kind of boring. Let's delete that one and try Film 2 instead, even though it's a pro filter, and see how that looks. One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to it. That's cool, it's moving, it's got motion. This one is color, but notice this, you can stack filters. If we wanted this to be black and white, I could go ahead and put this uh, old TV2 on top of it, and it would look like this all black and white. So if you wanted the black and white look with stuff moving, we would use those two together like this. One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to his videos. Why on earth would he go and do that? I, I like that. We're going to leave that. We're going to leave them stacked. Now let's add another effect. How about retro film? Let's see how this guy looks. 
Kind of like that. You don't have to apply a filter to try a filter. To try a filter, all you gotta do is click on it. So let's look at this guy. I don't. I do it all the time. That was kind of cool. I mean, have you ever had a camcorder that looks like this? I've had several, and I've got a lot of videos, probably in boxes that I'll never watch again, that have all this burn in on it. But let's go ahead and add that. We've tried it by clicking on it. Now we're going to click on the plus sign to add it to the timeline. It adds it for that duration. Let's add it for these two clips. Boom and boom. And it looks like this. I'm not gonna bother playing it until we're all done. And then let's go for this next section. Let's try a black and white film. We're gonna click on the plus sign and add that guy. And I haven't gone to jail. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, yeah, I actually, I kinda like that. For the rest of it, let's go with something a little more subtle. How about film frame? A bunch of videos, on that's fine. We're just gonna click the plus sign and drag it over to cover all of it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna just add one more kind of fun feature that I like. There's this filter called black noise. So we're gonna put across everything. So I'm gonna drag it to the timeline here, make sure it's butted up against the left and drag it all the way to the right. And it just adds these black specks, which can kinda of, kind of coolify video sometimes. Like, ah, more black specks on everything. It adds one consistent thing across all of these. Now, the next thing we need to do is add a little bit of music to this. We want something, you know, epic and cinematic. So let's go over to audio and type cinematic. Let's try a couple. A little intense. Yeah, you know the funny thing? Once you start listening to music, you'll notice that a lot of stuff sounds really similar. I've heard like 10 tracks that go with this same kind of vibe that are slightly different, but we're gonna use it anyway because they keep making it because it works. Now, you see down here, it, the music doesn't actually start till here and it has a big crescendo, that big swell before it starts. So I'm gonna just start it in the middle of that swell and so it feels like it's not abrupt. I'm gonna drag it to the beginning and then I'm gonna drag this guy over. This is going to fade up the beginning so it feels like a fade up. So I'm gonna drag that little tiny circle just like a half a second and now we can hear that it sounds like. One thing Mad Gangs Media does frequently is that move. Even though I didn't start at the very beginning of that music track, it sounded like it because I faded it up and it's too loud so I'm gonna drag it down just by doing this around 15 or so usually works. Let's check it. One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to it. And then we're going to end it right here because we don't need any more after that. And I'm just going to hit what keystroke? Do you know? Think about it. W. Bam, that all got cut and deleted at the same time. And I'm going to fade the end out here for our purposes. And the only other thing we might want is maybe a little sound effect of a projector. So let's go to sound effects and go to, I don't know, film. Let's see if that brings anything up that we can actually use. Oh, look at that, film projector. Let's add that guy to the timeline by hitting the plus sign. And we're gonna zoom in so we can see it. Uh-oh, it's starting. Right there is the first click, let's listen. One thing, you can hear it, but they've got that dead space there and I get rid of it, man. I wanna hear stuff right away, so we'll go boom. Boom. We also need to adjust the volume on the film projector. It's a little bit loud. Now we could go down here and drag this line down, which works fine. Or we could just jump up here under basic for audio and just drag the volume down to, I don't know, let's guess and see how it sounds. Maybe, probably about 10, I'm guessing. Let's see. One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to his videos. Why on earth would he go and do that? I think the audio levels are great. There's one final thing we need to do. I'm gonna hit Shift Z so I can see what's happening in my timeline. It's like, oh no, look at all this stuff. Position my playhead right here at the end, and I'm gonna hit a keystroke to make the rest of this stuff go away. What's one keystroke that does that? You remember, I want you to learn these keystrokes, guys. W, bam, that went away. Hit Shift Z, I see the whole thing. Now let's play the entire thing from the beginning. One thing Magnates Media does frequently is add movie clips to his videos. Why on earth would he go and do that? You might think you need to be some big fancy YouTuber to do it. Very fancy. You don't. I do it all the time, and I'm just a little feller on YouTube. You're nobody. And I haven't gone to jail. It's only a matter of time. Yet. I have a bunch of videos on my channel about how to find and download movie clips without getting arrested, or worse, sued. I will sue your ass. Please don't. I linked the video you're gonna to wanna to watch after this in the description below. This final few seconds is only for those of you who are really serious about growing a YouTube channel or growing a business with video. For everyone else, just go ahead and click on this video right here so you can learn how to find and download movie clips, you know, with, without going to jail. Oh, you would love jail. Now, for those of you who are serious, you can spend the next five years watching random videos trying to learn to edit. And videos like this are for sure great for learning fun things to do with your videos. But if you wanna crush the new year and have your channel blow up, 
You gotta stop dinking around. You're literally wasting your life away getting these little bits and pieces one video at a time. 95% of you will give up on YouTube and video and your business before you ever get to where you wanna be because you're afraid to invest in yourself. Don't be a wuss! Dude. Don't be the 95%. The very fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn to edit using CapCut is by taking my course, Master CapCut. You'll be a CapCut wizard in a week. You're a great wizard. And I promise you'll be a more confident editor and get more views on your channel if you implement everything I teach in my course. And if you're not happy for any reason at all, I'll give you all your money back, no questions asked. Master CapCut will be the best investment you make in yourself this year and can change the entire trajectory of your YouTube career. Just go to mastercapcut.com or click on this link right here. I can't wait to help you crush YouTube.